So hey guys, I wanted to do another picture profile comparison. What I've done here is I have just the lights on in my office. I have this other light over here, just trying to blow out the background just a little bit. Uh, basically, I don't want it to look too perfect because I want to take it in the editor and see how this compares to the Custom Picture Profile 2, which is YDR, and also the Custom Picture Profile number 3, which is C-Log 3. So this is what Custom Picture Profile number 1 looks like, which is basically normal. And now let's switch over to YDR. All right, so this is YDR, same light situation. I do have it set to an F2.8 on all of these comparisons the settings will be f 2.8 and I did have to gain it up to 15 decibels because it's kind of dark in here especially with this camera and uh, so let's uh, see what this looks like I am going to tweak each one of these uh, uh, custom picture profiles the best I can and see what looks the best so this is custom picture profile number two which is YDR Okay, so this is custom picture profile number three, which is C-Log3. Same settings as before, F2.8 with a 15 decibel gain. I'm curious to see if there's grain in the background. So I had a comment on my last uh, comparison video, basically saying not to use the camera LUT that Canon recommends. He recommended a different one, but I've used both and I really can't tell that much of a difference. So in this video right here, I'm not going to use the camera LUT in the editor. I'm just going to tweak the colors and color grade this myself and see if the grain goes away. I did notice that with C-Log3 in the dark areas, there's quite a bit of grain, but in normal, there is no grain. So that's what I'm curious to see. I want to see if there's any grain in C-Log3 or even in YDR. So I think that's what the LUT does. It converts the C-Log3 to YDR which is number two. I mean, if I was gonna do YDR, I just might as well do, do the set, setting on YDR. So you can see right now, well maybe you can't. Right now, if you look in the viewfinder, my face looks pretty dark. This looks pretty bright in the background. So I wanna see if I can brighten up my face in this video without washing out the, uh, you know, the guitars back here where I have this light set on. Picture profile one, two, or three. Which one looks the best? You let me know. What do you think? Is it camera picture profile one, two, or three? That's all I'm going to do for this video. This will be the last comparison video I do. Hopefully this will help me decide which one of these custom picture profiles I need to use. One, two, or three. One looks great. Three looks great. Two even looks great. They all look really, really, really awesome. So uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Oh, the camera is the Canon XA50, if you didn't know. Thanks for watching. So after editing this video last night and spending way too much time trying to get the C-Log to look like I wanted it to, I've decided for what I do, which is pretty much make videos for YouTube most of the time, that it's not worth the extra effort to shoot in C-Log 3. Just, I'm just gonna shoot it normal from now. It just looks, looks so freaking good. The average viewer that watches videos on YouTube, they're not gonna be able to tell a difference anyway. And one thing I noticed about C-Log in this camera in particular, and I also shot, I've also shot with the Canon C300 and I noticed the same thing with that camera also. When you, sh when you shoot in C-Log3, it makes the reds look sort of glowy and pink looking and I never could get the color, I never could get the color red to look exactly like I wanted it to. I, I, it, it took a lot of work to get it to look like red. But when you shoot in normal mode, it looks great right out of the camera. Now I'm not a professional color grader at all. I just shoot and edit and I want it to look great right out of the camera. I don't want to have to spend a lot of extra time trying to color grade and get the video to look perfect, I guess, whatever perfect is. But if you have the time and you have this camera, then go right ahead, be my guest. Take up time making it look better for yourself, pretty much, because the, the average person that's watching on YouTube, they're not gonna be able to tell the difference and they're not gonna care anyway. So for me, for what I do, it's not worth the extra time. So that's why I did the last uh, comparison video and this video also, just to, to help me to decide which camera picture profile that I'll be using. And I think from now on, it's going to be number one. 
But I'm also torn. I'm like, it has C-Log 3, it's there. It's like I need to use it. But just because it's there doesn't mean you need to use it. I think overall you just use what is best for you and what is easiest. And uh, to me, C-Log 3 isn't that easy. It takes up too much time. I don't have time. Nobody has time for that. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped a little bit. This will be the last video I do on this camera. I don't know what else to talk about. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Maybe I can answer it. And also like this video. Thanks for watching.